Okay, so day one, not sucking it in, nothing. This is me, day one of the cutback. I don't look bad, but this right here, this gotta go. So, uh huh, honey. Here we go! I'm taking between now, like July 10th to August 25th to get my body right so I can participate for at least the last week of the summer. Like, I mean, I'm a trap. So, yeah, I just wanted to document my, this journey with you guys. Hopefully give you guys some motivation. I'm not far off of having abs. I know, like, I don't feel like I look bad. I don't feel like I look any sort of way, but I know I can look better. So, if you just want to watch me go through this journey hope that this can just give you some motivation some inspiration for your own journey and definitely make sure you thumbs up this video so i know you're interested and so hit that subscribe button so that way you can join this journey with me don't ever be afraid to comment down below your journey your experience or just any commentary you have on what you see in my videos Here's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. It's just two or three pieces of watermelon and then egg whites with jalapenos, tomatoes, peppers, and I think onions. Yeah, onions. So this is just about to be my typical breakfast. It is eight, almost nine o'clock in the morning that I'm gonna be taking my vitamins. So because I am working out, I take L-glutamine, and this is just to keep my muscles healthy. And then for weight, I am taking Garcinia Cambodia, which this is a weight management support supplement. So pretty much it just helps with your cravings and like your hunger pains and stuff. So that's what that is for. And then I was looking for some biotin that will ship out here. So I ate all the ones I had before because I eat them like <laughs> gummy bears. But um, Janae Iko, I think her skin is flawless. And I had saved a post where she recommended Superfood 100. And I have been taking these like very inconsistently for a couple of months now so i did bring it along with me for this deployment but i think i've only had like one since i've been here and i've been here for quite a few months now so yeah i'm gonna start back taking these as well so you guys may think like oh that's a lot or something like that like the amount of vitamins that i'm gonna start taking but this has vitamin a b c e b12 um, you're supposed to take three daily. You either take three with breakfast or one tablet three times a day. I think it'll just be easy to knock it all out in one shot. So I'll be taking mine with my breakfast. But this has vitamin A, C, E, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12, panthenic acid, calcium, and iron. So... I would highly, highly, highly recommend these. Just be aware that when you are taking vitamins, you really do need to up your water intake because your body's just going through a lot. It's getting all in, all that it needs, but it also does definitely need water. So make sure that when you're taking stuff like this, you're upping your water intake. That way your body can really absorb all the extra that you're putting into it and thrive from that. Because I've heard a lot of reviews where people are taking like biotin or they're taking like extra vitamins and stuff and they start breaking out like on their face or have more acne or pimples or whatever. And that's just because my 
suggestion or idea i'll say my assumption my assumption is they're not upping their water intake even though they're giving their body more of what they need and once your body gets more of what it needs and also needs to flush out more as well your body flushes out with water so yeah highly recommend these thanks Janae Aiko for uh, putting us on hey you guys so it's my lunch time right now so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm having for lunch it's about 1 30 so around 12 o'clock I had like a little snack all I had was one of those little pouches of tuna that look like this and then I added some salad dressing which is really like one of those little travel packs of mayo I put that inside of it and that was it that's what I had for a snack so now it's lunchtime, and um I just have some baked catfish and I put together a smoothie so this is just my little piece of catfish and then here is what my smoothie looks like so I ended up adding I want to say cucumber lettuce um kale I squeezed some lemon juice on top of the kale and the lettuce and the cucumber mix and then a banana some low-fat yogurt I think it was vanilla yogurt and then some soy milk that was vanilla flavor so I actually get this made like at our DFAC which is a short term for dining facility y'all have heard me say that before if you've been watching my channel okay this is a struggle made so much that i got two cups i was able to get two cups instead of one and this is what it looks like this is my first time making this concoction so i'm a little um nervous about it because i don't know for sure focus focus so i don't know for sure how it's gonna taste i hope it tastes good I did take all my vitamins after I ate my egg whites and my watermelon I just saw earlier. And I feel like I already have this little glow going on. No stress. 2K19. Say what? Hashtag. Is that a hashtag? We need to make that a hashtag. No stress 2K19. So, anyways, yeah, that's my lunch. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And then I'll come back for dinner. Okay, you guys. So, I y'all for dinner but just know all i had was spinach with some hot or not spinach i had some greens with hot sauce and some salad which was really just like cucumbers lettuce a little bit of kale and something else that was green and i just like squeezed some lemon juice over it that was it so Dinner was pretty dry, but we're going to try again tomorrow to see if I can show you all my meals. But yeah, this is just day one. We have quite a few days to go until my vacation. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I did not get up and go to the DFAC, so I'm going to eat an apple. I have some water to take my vitamins, and then when I get to my desk, I'm going to drink some Fit Tea. I've been drinking Fit Tea for a long time. So I will put that card up here. I think I did a Fit Tea video like 2017. It's been a minute. So yeah, definitely check that video out right here if you're interested in Fit Tea and what it does. Of course, you need to eat right. You need to exercise in conjunction with drinking Fit Tea. But it is just another little thing that helps burn some extra calories get your metabolism going all that good stuff and i think it tastes good as well so that's just a bonus for me like if you try fit tea and you think it's nasty just leave it alone like go find something that you actually think tastes good because that way you'll keep drinking it keep using it that goes for any supplement or any diet or anything like you don't really want to diet you want to make it a lifestyle so it's best if you like actually like <laughs> what you're trying like, and what you're taking so yeah i'm gonna do that when i get to the office and then um 
I did go to the gym last night, but I didn't record that for you guys. It was just some quick upper body because my body's pretty sore from Wednesday when I did some physical training twice, including a PT test that, I mean, I passed, but it was trash. So I did go to the gym last night after I told y'all good night. But yeah, so Friday morning, I'm gonna have an apple and some tea. And I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna have for lunch. Okay, you guys, so it is lunchtime, and I'm just gonna show y'all what we are working with for lunch. So I made a grilled cheese sandwich because today is leg day. So that actually looks pretty good if I do say so myself. <laughs> so I just made a grilled cheese sandwich. I have another smoothie, and this time I put lettuce kale cucumber there's another green vegetable i don't even know i can't think of the name i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but i added that i squeezed some lemon and then i also added orange juice this time and ice instead of soy milk and yogurt like i did yesterday and i tried it and actually tastes really good and i definitely prefer my smoothies to have ice in them so they're super cold or like really really cold milk soy milk or almond milk because I no longer really drink cow's milk only time I really have cow's milk is in like cheese or pizza so yeah but this tastes so bomb and then for more food because I'm not going hungry y'all this is supposed to be chicken with sun-dried tomatoes I definitely see chicken and no sun-dried tomatoes so I don't know but um then I have some more salad, cucumbers, some greens. So this is what I put in my smoothie. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I know I like it and it tastes good. And then I have some grilled chicken and some barbecue sauce. So I was thinking if I didn't really like that chicken, I could dip it in the barbecue sauce. If it's good by itself, cool, it's good by itself. But this chicken is going to get cut up to go into my salad. And that is my lunch, you know? Nothing too bad so I'm chewing out yeah so I am gonna go back eat at my desk watch some uh, YouTube videos while I eat and um yeah just enjoy my lunch real quick and then get back to being productive because it's Friday so there's usually like a lot of meetings today and stuff to do I don't think I actually have to attend any. I'm not sure. But yeah. So once I get into the groove of like doing what I have to do at my desk, like I'll turn on some music. I've been heavy on Jack Quiz lately. I just love his voice. He's he's really short. Like if he wasn't so short, he'd be fine as hell. But yeah. That voice do what it do. So yeah, I just listen to music and I be in my groove and I just go, you know. So, I'm going to eat this lunch, head back to the office, and I will see you guys for dinner. I don't know, I actually wasn't very hungry last night. I ate anyway. Did I eat last night? No, I had an apple. Did I miss dinner last night? Jeez. <laughs> um... I don't even remember what I ate for dinner last night. Oh, I think I had a salad as well, and I didn't get to film that for you guys. Once I edit back, I'll know for sure, like, <laughs> what was for dinner last night. Monday I had a pretty bad Saturday as far as eating like I pretty much just ate whatever I wanted but um by the time you see this video my um 
hiking a waterfall adventure video will have already been up so you can see it here you can click on that and watch that after you see this video but because like it was kind of like a workout for a couple of hours i just said forget it but then yesterday i also ate like crap like i had a peanut butter jelly sandwich a grilled cheese sandwich three scoops of ice cream a sugar cookie a salad it was just really bad so well it wasn't bad it was just what i wanted so today i'm going a lot lighter all i had was tea this morning and i drank a little bit of water so i'm just continuing to drink water and for lunch i just have a smoothie with cucumber um celery lettuce kale yogurt and soy milk vanilla soy milk so oh and like squeeze lemon on the kale and the other vegetables so it tastes pretty good and then i just have some salmon that was on the grill and that's all i'm going to do for lunch and then for dinner i'm going to have another smoothie and that's it so really trying to just stay low with it today as you see i'm low energy like my attitude is on a thousand right now but i still wanted to come on and talk to you guys and let you know like what i'm eating or drinking right now because i did pretty poorly yesterday so yeah just know yesterday was not a good example probably not very motivating but it is really necessary like especially if you're trying to make eating healthy or like lowering your proportions if you're trying to make this a lifestyle and not just a diet like you're gonna have cheat days you're gonna have days where you just completely fall the heck off that's normal um so that way you can like instill enjoy some foods and enjoy your life and not feel like you're holding yourself back but then at the same time very next day like just get back into it or even if you know you had a crappy breakfast then you still have lunch and dinner to like make up for it so to speak so so i've noticed like so many people they wait till monday or they wait till sunday or they wait till the next week like to make the change which you can make the change that same day or the very next day you don't have to wait for a whole new week because that's just wasted time and making excuses so yeah I guess I can still I still kind of made a lesson out of it just know like yeah even if you fell off you can still get right back on like it's all just about your self-discipline and as Will Smith said self-discipline is self-love hey everyone so we're back with a new day and I did I eat breakfast I did eat breakfast I had some brown maple sugar oatmeal with peanut butter i actually started doing that after i saw um another person on youtube that does that um annabelle hayes so she said she does that in the morning um with her oatmeal and i never ever thought about putting peanut butter with my oatmeal but maple brown sugar is my favorite as well as apples and cinnamon so I was like okay girl let me try it and i actually really like it so i had that for breakfast this morning shout out to annabelle hayes for that um but now for lunch oh and i had some tea with that so now for lunch this is just like a chicken taco if you will it just has some lettuce tomato shredded grilled chicken and sour cream and then i got some mozzarella sticks and mixed vegetables with some pepper on it so i did end up doing a lot of math yesterday which y'all know if you don't know i'm pretty bad at math but i was sent this article from somebody that i work with shout out to him and so i ended up calculating like too much stuff it was a lot of stuff but to make a long story short i pretty much found out how many calories i need in a day how much calories I burn when I do nothing and how much fat I need, how much proteins I need and how much carbs I need to like function. And then like you do some more math and uh, according to how much weight you want to lose or if you want to build muscle, then you like change your intake of either your fats, your proteins or your carbs. So 
I'm gonna become more well versed in it before I try to explain it to you guys but at the same time like if I could teach you guys how to do it then that probably means like I understand it well you know the best way to show that you know something is to be able to teach it so I'm gonna try to continue to play around with the numbers play around with the formulas and maybe talk to some other people about it and get some other people to do it that are more well versed in like all these ratios and all this math and then I will bring it to you guys.